Hey, what's up? Mikey here, aka Lord Zach 95 bringing you a video commentary today of Call of Duty Modern Warfare Reflex, because everyone's tired of MW2, so I had this game on the Wii. Thumbs up for the Wii. And playing Team Deathmatch, and before I get into the topic I want to talk about, let me just say my class setup real fast. And you can even see it's the AK-74U Red Dot Sight, Secondary Desert Eagle, where I don't use it. Perks, RPG times 2, Sonic Boom, Marty Drum, because I really want to use the RPG. And yeah, my topic today is a person I met a, a while ago. And he's a pretty cool boot, dude. Dude, dude. Yeah. But his name is Carlos. But I call him Carlos the Omelet Guy. Because he makes omelets and he's a chef. So, this is the story of Carlos the Omelet Guy. I first met him a year ago, back in June of 09, when my dad took me to the Harrow's in Laughlin. We stayed there. I mean, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, came back Monday. So, got there, first day, whatever. It wasn't until the next morning that I knew my life would probably change for the best part. Ooh, my hair. Where we went there, and we were at the buffet, and I'm like, oh, they have one of those people that makes omelets for you, and I like omelets. So we went, got an omelet, and I like bacon, ham, mushrooms, tomatoes, and cheese. And, you know, sat down, I ate the omelet, it was like the best omelet I've ever tasted. So I'm like, the next day, I'm like, Dad, let's go to that same guy. So we went to that same guy, and they're like, what's your name? And he's like, Carlos. And I'm like, you're cool, Carlos. You're cool. About the same thing. And then, on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday morning, I had omelets. So Monday was a sad day for me, because I had to leave, and we had to say goodbye to Carlos. So, yeah, I had to say goodbye to Carlos. And I said, Carlos, you're a cool dude. So... The next time I went was this year, but back in September of 09, my dad went, so I gave him a letter to give to Carlos, saying hi and stuff. I told Carlos that I would make him a video, so that's where this comes in. And the Call of Duty gameplay was just because the camera wasn't, talking wasn't good enough. Call of Duty is awesome. And... Yeah, so I gave him the letter, and I told him in that letter that I would make him a video. So I'm waiting until the last minute now to make him a video. And, yeah, so, another year passes. This June, already passed a long time, three months ago. We went to Vegas for my brother's birthday. And after Vegas, for like a couple of days, we went to Laughlin for a day. Because I wanted to see Carlos. But then, Laughlin's in Nevada too. And yeah, I saw Carlos, said hi, talked, had an omelet, it was awesome. And I still told him that I owed him a video. And yeah, this is where the video comes in. And he's cool because he makes like the best omelets ever. You say a chef somewhere in your neighborhood makes the best omelets ever. I challenge you to take on Carlos because he will pony you. And yeah, the gameplay looks boring, kind of. Just, it's going. Yeah, so, you know, me and Carlos talked. And my dad's actually going tonight from when I'm filming. I don't know when this video's going to be up. Hopefully by either Friday or Saturday. So I'm going to send him another letter saying, Your video's made and done and high and go check it out. And yeah, the Heroes isn't paying me to do this. I'm doing this out of my own time because Carlos is really cool and yeah uh but if Harris does want to give me something free internet connection for sweets not really I don't care I mean Carlos is a cool dude give him a promotion and yeah the gameplay I don't even know I'm, I'm playing team deathmatch cause it's cool on the Wii yeah I like hold him like this and you know you aim at this one and yeah Hi. Carlos, if you're watching this, hi. Your omelets are good. But yeah, you know, Carlos is a cool dude. And best omelets on earth. Carlos and Laughlin, go. And if you actually go to Laughlin, like, they have a mini strip where they have, like, casinos, kind of. And the Harrow's is, like, the best one. Not getting paid, just saying. Literally is the best one. Because they have a beach behind it. It's like a river, so it's like a beach. They converted it. It's pretty pimp status over there, and... 
Yeah, um, um, this game, this game was actually pretty good. Cause I started like sucking them again and I just made a major comeback. It was like pretty pimp status. So I was proud of this game. And plus there's a surprise later on in the game. And right now, you see that there's a picture of Carlos on the video now. I'm the one in the Donkey Kong t-shirt, you can see. Carlos is the chef. So if you ever go to Laughlin, look for that guy. He's pimp status. And picture done. Bam. And the gameplay. RPGs. They're pretty cool. They swerve a lot, but it's okay, you know. They're powerful. And the, a the AK, yeah, the AK-74U. Practically, it sounds like the UMP-45 of, like, MW2. It's, like, so powerful. It's, like, super awesome. And, yeah, you know. I get, like, a, like, an 8 kill streak, so I get a helicopter. Then I die, so, like, it's actually a smart tactic when you get a helicopter in COD 4 to, like, die and then call it in, because then you can just get another helicopter, and that's what happens in this game. And, yeah, what else is there to talk about? A lot of things, you know. I'm going to release the Kraken t-shirt. I've worn this video. I've worn this shirt in a video before. I'm messing up so much, it's so hard to make a video commentary. Because, gameplay's down there. You're looking up here. Stuff like that. I'm actually waiting because I get like an awesome, like, awesome thing that happens in this video. I'm not going to say it. I'll wait until the video shows. So I'll constantly keep looking down and up. And yeah, you know, my story about Carlos went pretty, went by pretty fast. It's pretty cool. And it was cool because when I sent him the letter back in September, he wasn't actually there, so my dad gave it to his brother that just happens to work there too. So when Carlos actually got the letter, I guess like the manager there or something like that asked to see if he can see it. And my dad let him see it. So that was pretty cool. And like, you know, I guess since no one from Paris gets a letter, I just, I, I gave him a letter, because I'm cool like that. And yeah, that's, uh, yeah, this is what I got right here, sorry. Shoot the RPG, and get a 5 kill streak. Call him at first strike, like, we're like, they're all kind of at, they're all like in a little house over there. So I get like, 2, call him a Harrier, call him a helicopter, I'll say Harrier. This is an MW2, I still wouldn't get a Harrier. Got my 7 kill streak, and right here, see, I'm shooting that guy. And the other guy is the one that kills me, and I die right here, boom, and I'm dead. Sad face. But, what I do right here is I spawn back, and I call him a Harrier. Harrier, why do I keep saying Harrier? Helicopter. I'm gonna start calling him COD 4 MW2, they're all the same thing, I'll call the duty. I'm gonna get Black Ops for the Wii 2, so. Send me a message if you want to play with me, I'm pretty good. And I do a little bit of, like, camping right here, because I'm just, like, running around in that little section, because I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Now I'm just kind of waiting until if it shows that part. I don't know. If it, hasn't, if, it, if, I, if it goes finished, I'll just say, like, did you see that part? I mean, I didn't. So I get another airstrike. That's the cool part. I got, like, two airstrikes. But this this airstrike sucked. I don't like getting kills. Because, like, everyone was in a house that has a roof over it. So if I just bomb it, nothing's going to happen. They're not going to die. I just breathe it right there. No breathing in video commentaries. Take that. And yeah, YouTube commentators. I like scene editors. He's my favorite. Using the AK-74 still, and you know I'm just you know doing stuff. I'm good at this game. And you know my final score I'll say at the end, pretty good. Cause I probably went like zero and five in the beginning, and I just like came back. Cause there's like there's a lot of campers. There's like two campers, and I don't know if I just suck or they were like. I was like shooting straight at him and he wasn't even like getting a hit marker. So I was like, I was feeling iffy about that. So yeah. This video's probably gonna be like 11 minutes long, you know. You got the picture of Carlos. And, oh wait, hmm, I think it's right here. This part's like so epic. Wait, no, wait, hmm, I don't know. I think it now, never mind. Why isn't it showing yet? Why? Well, Carlos, if you're watching this, hi. People of Harris are watching this. Hi, and Mikey. You people on YouTube, if you're watching this, hi. Subscribe. Yeah, and wait for it. I'm hoping this is the part. Wait, uh, and wait for it. Boom! Triple. Did you see that? Triple, triple RPG. And like the kill feed was awesome because it's like showed two, two of my kills, and I died. Somebody, and then it showed my fourth, like the third kill. It was like a four-man kill feed, and I was like. 
my name, my name, my name, dying, and then my name is the RPG. I got a triple RPG. That was my second one. The first one I actually got like on another map, but it's like you go through the same tunnel, so it was stunning grenade. I actually got hit markers, which was kind of sad. Put on my RPG, shot triple. I was like, oh my god, I was freaking out. And this one, I was freaking out in my head because I was filming, so I didn't want to be like, oh my god. But yeah, triple, I was pretty pimp status. And game's about to end, right? Oh yeah. And if you were wondering what I was shooting at, I mean, there was like a guy on the roof, kind of like, I don't know how you got there, so I always try to kill him. And my final score is 28 and 17 or something like that, I believe. It's probably like my best score in Call of Duty, so see you guys. See you, Carlos. I made this video for you. Uh, YouTube land. Commentating for the win.